Why schools are not teaching financial education? Thank God the school provided me with all this useful information that I can use my entire adulthood. Instead of thousands of hours learning some fraction formulas that I never used again outside of school. Oh, wait a minute. Why schools don't teach financial education? Could it be that they do not know it themselves? We go to school from 13 to 27 years and they never cover budgeting, saving, debt, or investing. Could it be they don't know it themselves? Could it be that if they start teaching us how to use our capital in the best way possible to benefit our own selves, we might think twice next time before paying 50k a year to go to college? My son, you need to go to college to make money. The tuition is 50k a year. After college, it will take me 20 years to pay for that. Could it be that if everyone started saving an emergency fund and stopped maxing the credit card, the economy would collapse? Oh, this toilet paper handle is so nice. I always wanted one of these. I already have three. I want to buy this one, but I'm broke. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sign me up for a new credit card. Therefore, the struggle and the stress people suffer and go through is a sacrifice made for the economy and the top 1%. If we spend 13 to 25 years in school, why is it that at no point we are taught financial education? We are told to study hard, get a degree, so we can get a high paying job, but at no point they explain to us how to manage their finances. We go out there, we get the highest paying job, and with all the money we buy all the nicest things, the biggest house, the nicest car, all these fast depreciating items, and at the end of the year we have nothing. I am not a financial advisor and I don't know your specific situation. Don't listen to a random guy on YouTube. So person A spend all the money looking rich and person B is rich. So now this is where you tell me, are you crazy? Because the rich is rich and they do have the nicest things. The difference is that first they build assets generating profits and then they buy the nice things. At age five, we go to kindergarten. Some of us start even earlier. And by high school senior year, we have been in school already for 13 years. If you get a bachelor's, add another four years of schooling and now you have 17 years. If you choose another field that requires longer time like medical, add another four years and now you are in school for 21 years. Now it's very common people are doing double majors and minors and if you want a master's or a PhD, now you're looking at another four or six years and looking at a total of 27 years. School is great while you learn is an investment that you do in your own self. This is an asset that is very hard for anyone to take or steal from you. Give me all you have. Please don't take my brain. The more you feed your mind and enable your brain, the more it can produce. Starving it from learning and growing can only lead to rusting the mind and the brain. But in no way, the most expensive school or any school is the only way to grow your knowledge and brain power. There are different types of intelligence, ways to learn and grow our skills. The system keeps flashing on our faces, nicer houses, nicer cars, and nicer and better everything. No matter how much one has, it is never enough to have it all and keep up. The secret is to make the money, save it, and invest it. It is entirely up to us to learn financial intelligence and one day stop the struggle and move up the ladder. Just recently, a new term called financial intelligence has emerged. In the business world, it involves understanding how money is used and how to develop accounting and finance knowledge and skills. The Financial Intelligence Foundation will understand assets, liabilities, and financial measurements such as profit, cash, income, balance sheet, and cash flow. Finance and accounting are a science and an art. Understanding how it works allows estimations and assumptions and how applying different numbers results in different conclusions. Understanding the numbers improves the return on investment, ROI. 
financial intelligence allows to see the bigger picture, understand the economy and the new technologies. Reading only is not enough to learn financial intelligence. Hands-on practice and real-world applications are required. If one can spend 17 to 27 years studying and then working on a job to make the most amount of money, it might be worth to spend the time to learn the skills that can put you financially ahead. The top 1% has a net worth starting at 10 million and the top 10% has a net worth starting at about 1 million. My son, you need to go to college to make money. The tuition is 50k a year. After college, it will take me 20 years to pay for that. <laughs> hey guys, this was the introduction to a new series I want to come up with regarding financial intelligence. I'm also looking into creating an investing account for the channel. So there we could start investing from zero and see how it grows. Definitely get some nice dividend stocks, but I don't think you know, no way we should leave out uh, growth stocks as well as long as the price is good. Maybe we could add 100 or 200 a week or a month. We could start and buy maybe 10 or 20 Amazon stocks and another 10 or 20 Google stocks. So today I just did a quick workout outside and uh, I, I'm going to put a quick short clip here. I hope you like it. like this video or even if you did not like the video still drop a like subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you can get the next video of the series thank you so much for watching I have a few other videos coming up on the screen and I see you there